video for journal bracket. We're going to make this into a 3D object. The overall is 5 inches with the inside being 2, so that leaves us 1.5 on each side. So you're going to go to Line Command 1.5 Tab 30. And this takes us up to the center line of that arc. So we're going to go up 1.5 Tab 90. Then we're going to go across 2 Tab 30. Down one and a half tab 90 and over one and a half tab 30. Once you have that, you're going to go up a quarter of an inch tab 90, come over one and a quarter tab 30, up 2.75 tab 90, and over and then same thing here, a quarter inch, 1.25 and just connect those. Go up here and use the elliptical arc. And then you're going to select the ISO circle down here. And select the midpoint. And come over and connect to the end of these two lines and you'll have this circle. And we're only going to use the top arc. Okay. Next, select the line command and draw a line at midpoint, straight up, and delete the top line. And let's see what do we mean by that. First, we found this line is the center, so that was changed to a center line. We found the midpoint and we drew a line straight up. Okay. Now, we know that the top of this line here is one and a quarter of an inch. So you can come here and draw a line 0.625 tab 30 and 0.625, that'll be tab 30 or 150, and you'll have that right in the middle. We know that from this point, we can draw a line down and that is going to be 165 degrees right here. That will give us our 45. And where they intersect, that's where we're going to trim these off. Okay. And you do the same thing. Once you draw a line here, you're going to intersect. Once you have this point over here with your 165 degrees, you can draw a line straight over at any length and tab it at 30 degrees and then that'll give you the point to draw this line once we have that we can use the trim command and get this use the fillet command which you know is here make sure you come down here and type hit R make sure quarter inch radius select these two lines Go back to fill it, go to R, select these two lines, but this time you're going to use an eighth of an inch on this side. Okay? And that's going to give you the 2D object that we have in the book. And what we're going to do is randomly use four inches for the depth. And all you do is just take your line command, go back four inches and tab 30 like that and once you have that you can just transfer these lines all the way around and then connect them and you'll have an object like this